All right, so we're back in Blaster Simulator. Uh, the game kept crashing if I tried to play it in full screen, so I went down to windowed mode. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't crash. And I have to do the airship hangar again, and I think I remember how I did it. It was yesterday, actually, that I last played this, but I think I recall the yeah, way I did it. I gotta remember the controls, though. So I was going one there, one there, one there, one there. There and there, and there, there, and then with the bees, I put them in these corners. I wish the crosshair changed with the color of the bomb. That'd be nice to help you know which one you selected without having to look over to the side. I mean, it's just such a minor touch they could have done. God, I gotta stop trying to move with WASD. Maybe I'll learn to use the circuits if this doesn't work. Hopefully it works. I mean, I don't know how that's still standing. Motherfucker, you fall. That's right. <laughs> Alright, next mission. Alright, so we got 12 A's. That should be good enough to... What if we just say one on each pillar? You know, let's just figure out how to use circuits. Let's see. Which thing is it? Alright, wait. Before placing explosives, you first inspect the blasting pit and think about... Oh, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the one you choose. So if I hit 2, this one will blow up slightly later. So we go like... Oh, actually. We go back. So we go like 1, 1. Then we go 2, 2. Then we go 3, 3, 4. I just want to see if this works mostly. 4, and 5... Five. So then, it should go boom, 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 boom. It actually worked. I'm proud of that. Like I didn't, it didn't win. I was hit by the rubble. No, I stepped on the rubble actually. So what if I just say blah, blah, and then boom. That's somehow a better uh, percent, even though it's looks like it's more standing. Oh, there it goes. That's a win. I don't want to even step on the rubble now, though. It's just like, oh, I lost. Okay. All right, so this one has to stay in the green area, I'm guessing. So we'll do, what if we go like... Uh, one, two, three. On the other side, we'll do the similar kind of mirroring it. One, two, I will say the way that they make it. Oh, that's okay. Shift R is reset because I accidentally hit that. So wait, we'll try it like this then. One, two, three. One, two, three. I will say the uh, way they make the timing stuff done is really simple though. In a good way. That went way outside. All right, so then I gotta. One, two, three. How about that? It's still standing, it looks like. How is it still standing? Alright, try that again. Let's see, how about we do, like, this way then? We do it. One, two, three, and then... One, two, three, like that. So we put it closer together, so hopefully it... Alright, that looks promising. It seems to have stayed within the area, but not enough is broken apart. Darn. Wait for it, like... Yeah, okay. Getting closer. What if we just do boom, 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 boom. That's going to fall forward too much, isn't it? Stop! Alright, what if I go boom, 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 boom. Just...
Really? That's the way I end up winning it? Okay, then. Whatever. It's all a matter of luck. Don't touch that. It doesn't look much more destroyed than the other one where I lost, though, and I felt I did good. Okay, well. Let's just get a general testing done. We'll just say, if we put one there, does that break it? That does break that. Oh, man, look at the way that landed. Holy shit. That's crazy. All right, so now I know I could just say one there, and that's done for those. So, Boom. Boom. And that gets those cleared. Boom, boom. And I need 70%, so let's see what kind of percent this gets me and what's left standing after I do this. Oh, weird, those sides are still standing. Why is it still standing on that side? Maybe I have to be on the outside of it more or something. So maybe I have to go over here and then place it. Boom. Boom. So we go like that. And then if I go on the other side and place it, it'll hopefully work. So it's like, you know, this is like the exact opposite of Bridge Builder. Like, all there's a bunch of bri Bridge Builder games. I'm just thinking, this is the exact opposite of it. And since I got extra bombs, let's just place them on the corners of these. And the corners of these. There's actually dynamic reflections in this engine. You notice there's some green right there from those bombs. It's nice. And then the rest, we just... Spam around here. And I'm pretty sure there's no way I can lose this based on how many bombs I have set. Can't see nothing. How is that still standing? Alright, obviously I have some reconsiderations to do. Okay, so what if in... Instead, I was to use the type C's on the outer edge of this. Like, what if I just concentrate on the lower support things? Wait, somehow I missed one of them. That's what happened. I don't know what I was thinking last time. I was being delusional. If I go like this, though, it should be okay. So we go like that. Let me pull out the B. We go one inward here, one inward here. We go A's, and we put the A's on the outward path, actually. So outward A, outward A. Well, that one wasn't outward, but hopefully it's okay. And then we go back to the B, and we put them here. I'm assuming the upper area will collapse without the support, but I'm not positive on that, so let's figure it out. Ah, frighteningly close. But no, no good. Alright, well, let's see here. If I do just the C's in the middle section, what happens? If I do C right... These bridges aren't even connected. What right there. And right there. Because I figure the most explosion will be pushed this way if you have them in the right spot. Or whatever. So let's just see what happens if I have that. Interesting. I do need one on each pillar, it looks like. Which doesn't give me much room to work with. Unless, what if they're on the middle area? Like, what if I was to say... I can't jump high enough to see in there, but... I want to try to put it in between the two, so... Logically, then, what if I was to shove it up there, what would happen? That's not a C. Okay. It totally breaks the... the area you could go above, but doesn't affect... Physics aren't that great in this. 
I'll say that now. Alright, so let's see here. What if I have it at an upper height? Will that break it both? It just breaks the one still. So I have to put a bomb on each leg, basically. And it's just a matter of which legs get what bombs, I guess. So we'll try, like, going at an inward, outward type of thing. Where we Those ones followed by, um, shoot, this isn't going to work out well, actually. Those ones, let me just go switch over to B. Those ones get B. And for C, we'll put two here. And we'll put one right in between the two platforms each. So hopefully the upper area. Silly. Oh, darn it. Can't seem to click on them. There we go. Let's take them back. Just to make sure that upper platform breaks, we'll put one there and one over here in the middle too. So let's see if that works. Fall! That won it. I don't know how that thing just jumped like that, but that won it. Okay. Alright, so now we have an actual building. That's interesting. So what if we were just go, Wee! Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Oh, we're out of bombs. Click, 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 click. What would happen? Fall! Yes. Keep falling. That's only 1% difference. Alright, so that's obviously not going to work. So let's actually take this a little logically now. Let's say if we just put one on the corner there and the second story for each. What happens? What's left? And then we can build on that for the next one and we'll figure it out. So we'll just do this. I'm assuming the upper area won't need any bombs because it'll be taken apart by um, the falling, but I'm not positive. <laughs> that's it. Oh no, it's gonna follow me. Okay, but that's interesting. I'm gonna need something in the middle area. So we'll go. Let's put. Let's say. How about. What if we do this instead? We go. Not, not that kind of bomb. This is B bombs. Go one there, and then what if we do one there? And we do that pattern across the building. See, the reason this game isn't so good is I figure I'm thinking right now is the breakpoints are too predetermined. Like things only break in one specific way, and it's not like a way where it's kind of like a demolition company where you don't notice. It's like a very obvious this thing breaks into like squares, just like. See, it's just like it breaks into the squares. Demolition Company did a pretty good job of hiding that. This game, uh, not so much. Alright, so that is definitely a strong start. All I should have to do is put some stuff in the inside now, and that should work. So let's place the ones on the outside first real quick. Just boom. Mm, where was it? There. I got a little disoriented because I went up on a hill. Okay. We'll just hop inside and... Can we go upstairs? Yes, we can. That's good. Let's see. How do I find the stairs? Oh, jeez. Alright, this will work. I just need to get something in the center area, mostly. So, so see, let's actually figure out where the center of the building is first. Let's see. One. So this is the center this way. So this is, okay, so the stairs about the center. That's good. So we just do this. Go upstairs, do the same thing. And we have a couple of bees left, so we just might as well place them up here. 
Now let's see if that works. I gotta find my way out of this place though. What was this building even used for with such an odd design? Okay. Here we go. That's a win. Alright. That's demolished. Hello, game. Yes, game, do you read me? There we go. Took a while. Alright, now we gotta break this tower. We got ten of them. I guess we gotta... How did I win that other one? Just went like that, right? Kinda. Isn't that what I did? It was everywhere, and then it fell over. That doesn't seem like it's as good of a plan here, though. Let's reset it. Alright, let's use some logic now. So what if we do... What if we just take out the whole bottle, bottom circle? What happens if you just do that? Will it, like, fall apart on itself and actually... Wow, this is wider than I thought it would be. Oh, well. Alright, so that worked actually, because it did mostly implode on itself without expanding outwards too much. Oh, careful. That worked really well, actually. Okay, 32, that's a lot. Okay. So what if we just put one on each thing? Just go like one on each thing, and we're done. I'm assuming I'm going to have 16 bombs. Oh, no. Well, maybe, yeah, yeah. No, I'm going to have one less than 16 bombs left. That's unusual. Right, so if I do just that, what happens? All right. Lots of it's not broken. All right, so we got to do... I'll just do one up, one down, one up, one down. And so there's 17 pillars, I guess, unless I accidentally place two bombs. I'll have to skip the outer ones and hope it works out okay. If this doesn't work, I could try putting bombs inside of the 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 middles because you can see, like, you can see the breakpoints here. You could very obviously see the breakpoints if you look. There's like visual the strips that it's like, oh well, that's where it'll break apart. So obvious. Okay, four more, three more. Oh, so I have enough bombs. All right, so since I have enough, we'll do one on each corner too. Huh. There. All right. That's a win. Alright, next mission. Okay, this is big. Let's see, let's go inside and... Boom, 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 boom. Out of bombs. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we're out of bombs again, alright. Let's see if that works, just breaking the lower level apart. Not, oh, what? That's over 50% somehow. <laughs> Don't ask me how. Alright, this one, we got 12 of them. It seemed to work pretty good last the one where I went like this. So let's just try that again out of curiosity. We could stack some more bombs on top of each other than last time, though. Right, let's see if that works still for this much larger structure. Nope. So this one, maybe I'll have to do it in, um, what if I go one on each side? Assuming it has four sides to the break -a -point breaking model. 
And we do like one roughly above the other one. With a small delay on it. And then one above that one with a small delay on it. How will this work? Man, you can't see shit when it falls apart. That was maybe close. It was hard to tell, really. I'll put the delay a little higher. This time I'll do it like this so I can get it a little straighter, too. It's a little easier to do it straight when you're just going straight up. So now they'll have a two-second delay between each one. Which will hopefully increase its ability to like fall into itself more. If not, I could try to shoot taking apart the upper area a lot more as well. It sucks that I really just can't see what's happening. Alright, so we'll try that then. We'll try taking off some of the upper area first. So we'll try like one on each side again up here though. Okay, look how- oh, that's- no. God, why is this camera limited at such a low height when you're dealing with structures so high? Okay. So I'm gonna have them all go off at the same time though, just to see what happens. See, those are at very varying heights and I didn't necessarily want that. Oh well. I guess we'll just put some in the middle too. Uh, that was- I mean, like, these are very inaccurate, but that one was really inaccurate. Let's do it like that. Ninety-eight percent. That's good. Next mission. Well, you know what? It's been going on for a bit, so I'll end this video here. Until next time. YBR. I'll see ya.